So these problems here are bridging the average rate of change and the instantaneous rate of change. So ultimately, what we're trying to do is find the instantaneous rate of change at 1. So we want to figure out how fast this is increasing at 1. We want to find the slope of this tangent line here. And we're going to do that with an instantaneous rate of change later. But before we know any calculus, the best you can do is find like the slope of a secant line. So they say, OK, start when x is 1 and then when x is 3 halves and find the slope of that line. And that's approximately the instantaneous rate of change. The slope of this line is about how fast it's increasing there. So remember to find the slope of that line. It's just a slope. You just have to find uh, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. This is the scary formula for it there. But um, so we'll do that first. So we've got our function here. I'll plug in both points. So I'll plug in 1. So I get 0. So I have the point when x is 1, the y is 0. And when I plug in 3 halves, 2 times 3 halves squared minus 2. So that's uh, 2 times 9 fourths minus 2. So that's 9 halves minus 4 halves is 5 halves. So when x is 3 halves, the y is 5 halves. Alrighty then. And those are my two points. So my average rate of change, my slope, is just how much did it change. And you can do the full out silly formulas, but you can see that the y's went from 0 to 5 halves, so that's a change of 5 halves. And then it went from 1 to 1 and a half, so that's a half. And if I divide those, I get 5. So it looks like the uh, average rate of change is 5. And then the instantaneous rate of change, now we get to finally use our calculus. Uh, instantaneous rate of change is another way of asking us to find the derivative. The derivative gives the instantaneous rate of the change of function. It gives the slope of the tangent line. So what we're going to do is we're going to find uh, f prime. And so f of x is 2x squared minus 2. And so our rules for polynomials is you just multiply, so the 2 times 2, and then drop the power down. And then the derivative of a constant is just 0. Uh, we'll go over more of those later, but the derivative of a constant is just 0. That would be y equals 0, slope would have been 0. You could also think of it as 2x to the 0, because x to the 0 is 1, so I haven't changed it. And when you multiply, you get 0. Uh, and subtract 1 x to the negative 1, which would just be 0. So anyway, we'll do a whole bunch more of those later. But So this is our derivative uh, for x, and I'm just going to erase the 1 for x. And then we want it at 1, so f prime of 1 is 4. So that is our instantaneous rate of change as 4, and our average rate of change was the 5. So um, they're kind of close. I mean, when it gets that steep, it, uh, it's hard to tell. We can match it. Average rate of change was 5. Instantaneous rate of change was 4. We match. Excellent.